In this video, I will talk about the cost value and the different methods you can use to assign the cost to your listings. I will introduce our integration with Inventory Lab and I will explain how to use the general settings to assign default values to your new listings. When calculating your min and max prices, it is important to take your purchasing cost into consideration in order to prevent selling for a loss and to protect your profit. In Repricing Central, you can enter a cost value for each listing. Since we do not offer a separated sell for inbound shipping, you can consider adding this extra cost to the main cost value. But how do you enter the cost value into the system? We offer several methods, a manual input, bulk actions, file upload, automatic download from Inventory Lab, and an automatic calculation for newly imported items. To enter the cost value on each listing individually, simply go to Manage Listings and type the cost value into the dedicated cell. You can also enter the cost value when you are using the profit calculator. If you want to enter the same exact cost for multiple listings, or if you want to calculate the cost based on your current life price on Amazon, you can use the dedicated bulk action. Select the listings you want to apply the cost to and go to the bulk action Set Cost. Now, you can set a fixed cost for your items, for example, a $20 cost, or you can calculate it starting from your current selling price, for example, your price plus shipping minus 50%. If you already have your cost values stored on a spreadsheet, you can use the File Upload feature to quickly import them into BeCool. Simply go to Upload File, download the blank template, and follow the instructions in the file. You can find more details about this operation in a dedicated video on this channel. Are you an Inventory Lab user? You can turn our integration on to start importing the cost value of your listings automatically. Go to Manage Listings, Settings, General, to access the general settings. Here, you can turn the integration on from our side and then follow the instructions to turn the integration on from the Inventory Lab side. Since items might have been purchased at different prices, you can choose to use three different cost types, the highest price you paid, the average of all the different costs, and the latest price you paid for purchasing the item. Another method to automatically assign a cost value to your listings is to use the feature called Assign default values to new listings downloaded from Amazon. If turned on, this feature will assign a default cost based on a fixed price or on the current life price, similarly to what we mentioned earlier. You can also use this feature to assign a min price, a max price, and a rule to each newly imported listing. You can base the calculations on a fixed price, on the current life price, or on the cost created with this method. It is not possible to base this calculation on the cost received from Inventory Lab. The last two settings in the general settings are designed to assign default shipping values. If you are an FBM seller, you can set a default shipping cost that you pay to ship the products to your buyers. You can also set the default $0 value to your FBA item's shipping price in order to be able to calculate your prices even before the shipping price value is automatically downloaded from Amazon. For more information about Repricing Central's features, you can watch the other videos on the YouTube channel or you can check our support page.